Welcome back everyone. So today we're going to be doing an ambient lighting mod on the BMW F30. So everyone that knows me knows I like a bit of ambient lighting in my car. Um, with the BMWs, obviously the orange and white, not only is it really dull and boring, um, it's not very bright either. Um, I have previously before uh, used sort of silicon inserts from ambient mods uh, just to enhance the light, just to capture the light. Um, but today I'm going to be doing a very simple very very simple mod um, i'm going to be changing the led uh board in the actual lights themselves um it's still dual color um the only difference is it's white and a different color of your choice and now the options you've got are blue red purple sort of a standard oem orange and then a sort of ready darker orange color um they still work with the eye drive so you can switch between the white and the other color that you've chosen um, and it is just a simple case of uh, taking the light module out, uh, taking it apart and changing it for the new board. So it is very simple. Okay, fair enough. The door cards have to come off um, and and so on. But that is about as hard as it gets. Um, I will do a follow-up video. I am going to be uh, installing the uh, cup light LED. Um, it's just unfortunate with the uh, Y-split cable that was sent. Um, doesn't do what I need it to do um color wise um and also um in that second video on it i what i will be doing is disabling the orange light in the down lights um so that when you have it on the optional color in my case purple um the down lights uh, are or the reading lights are going to be white um and then when they when you have your lights set to white then the down lights will be the orange um, so basically, I'm just going to flip them around, um, and but that will be in the second video uh, when I do the cup holder lights as well. Uh, so for today, you just need a couple of simple tools. You will need a panel removal too, as always, and a torque 25-bit as well. Um, but I'll explain how we do as we go along. Right, first thing I'm going to do is the footwell lights. Um, to do that, you I need to remove this bottom panel. just sits underneath here. There is a 10mm bolt that sits one here, uh, one here. Um, once you've undone that, this bottom panel will drop down. Once you've only done those two bolts, what you do have is you've got these two clips here. So all you do, panel tool in just here, and just pop it down, and it will pop down. Just be gent rest it gently, because you still have the cables. Um, to disconnect the light, you need to just pull it out the back, and then all I'm going to do is push it back and pop the light out. Okay, so that is the light module removed. What you're going to need to do is just take the plastic uh, diffuser off the front. So how you do that is you've got these four holes at the back. What you're going to do, I can't really do it one-handed, but using a, a pick tool, just gently pull down on the plastic whilst just prising with the, the pick tool into there. And what you'll find is it's just held on by these little clips there just going into into there but once that's done you can then take the light module out and then what we're going to do is going to replace it with this new one obviously i will leave the links in the description for for these okay and all you're going to do Slide it into place of the other one. And then that is it. Clip the lid back on and you're back in. And then all you're going to do is put it back together exactly the same way as you took it apart. Okay, so the next one is to do is the doors. Now... To take the doors off, what you first need to do is take this handle trim off. Now, there is a metal clip under there in, inside uh, that if you don't uh, move properly, um, you basically will snap it. But if you look towards the back, just there, you've got this little hole. So what you need to do um, on the actual handle itself, or the silver trim part, there is an L-shaped bracket. So what you have to do is get the... Normally it's a screwdriver. I say a screwdriver for this... 
but not a screwdriver on the trim make sure you use the plastic trim removal tool and um, but what you need to do is get your screwdriver up inside that hole and then move the clip you'll hear it move the clip backwards like that um, away from the l-shaped bracket but once i've taken it off i'll, I'll show you what i mean okay so here's the uh, the metal clip um, and that's where you come in from so basically you need to get up in behind this and basically you push that back like that because that is what's holding it's up, although it's upside down it sits in behind that clip there so you need to push it back so you're able to remove that clip so the next thing I, I tend to do before uh, I undo the, the bolts is um, you need to disconnect your switch module. Um, it's easier if you can get a, a really thin pry tool in at the front. So lift up from the front, slide it forward, and it should. Depends how much cable you've got. Which this hasn't. Just pull a bit of cable through uh, to release this. And on the back here, all you've got is a little um, grey tab. So what you need to do. is just try and do this it's where you've got the look in the middle I don't know how well you can see that on there um, you've got a little white clip so all you need to do is just press the middle bit in slide the grey bit back and then that will pull out there we go next thing is your two torque 25 bit screws we've got one at the top here and one at the bottom here Now what you need to do is um, just all it's held on with is some poppers all the way around the outside now. And then once you've done that, you need to, unlike most where you lift the door card up with this, you pull the door card forward like that and it should just pop off the clips. And then just unhook it over the top of that and then behind here you've just got some clips to um, unclip um, with the door release all you're doing is lifting it behind sliding out and then basically just 
feed the wing mirror controls and that socket through the hole and then just unpop in all the little bits of cable and then once you've unpopped all the bits of cable the door card will just come away from the door Like so. Okay, then once you've got the door card off, what you need to do with the light module is just gently um, hold on to the plastic, the plastic bit there, lift up on this little tab there, and then just gently separate that. But with the lights, it is held on. Uh, where are we? It's just sort of held on there, and you've got these clips either side, just these plastic ones you just need to pry apart. Again, just use your prior tool uh, and once I've done that I'll show you what the next step is now with the light bulb thing what you need to do is just open up the top part which is this top cover here oh get it in focus this top cover here what it's held in is you've got two clips either side or two little locating dowels either side as you can see and all you need to do using uh, a very small screwdriver or a pick tool like this is just really difficult doing it what I did and with my left hand is just put the pick tool in that side there just to pry that side little sort of wing apart just to pop the dowel out and then once you've done that this top part as you can see is on a hinge so that will just open up and once I've done that I'll, uh, I'll show you the next bit once that's unhinged like that what you're gonna do and I do this one-handed and left-handed is basically you remove the oh I'll just throw it everywhere just remove the old light and then you end up like that and then all you're gonna do is then replace it with the new one and all that does is just slides back in to where you had it and then all you do then one-handed with my left hand not the best of ideas um is just basically once that's clipped in clip it clip the uh, top back down and then basically reinstall it the same way as you did before okay so that is it clipped back together then all you're gonna do is slide it hold i'll have to do it off camera but hold on to this bit of plastic so it doesn't start shooting up the door card um, and then basically what you have on here is you see I'll just get my pick tool so I can just point it out so basically you've got this locating dowel there that sits where are we that sits that locks onto that top part there and then you've got little round clips at the front there that slots into it's really difficult with, with my left hand into that plastic housing there and where you've got these bits there that one there that sits against the plastic bit there um just be very careful with the end because it is quite delicate as like i say hold it with one hand push it on with the other hand uh, and then that will be that back together Okay, so that is that now clipped back into place. As you can see, it's held on at the top part there. And that's it back into place. All you're going to do now is reinstall the door card in exactly this opposite as you took it off. Do that for all four door cards. Um, and then that is the lights uh, complete. So this is the uh, finished product. Uh, for some reason, the footwell lights on the camera look blue but they're not um, another good feature is when you open the door the footwell lights will switch to the white as they would on entry and then when you close it they go back to the purple but there you go 
So that's the end of the video. Hopefully it was uh, helpful. If it was, please give it a like. Please subscribe to the channel. We've got a lot more coming up for the BMW. Um, got loads on the outside. Um, full M performance kit and so on. Um, also, there will be a follow-up video to this um, with the uh, cup holder light. Um, I'm just modifying the wiring loom for that. Um, as well as I might just modify the down lights, the reading lights as well, so that when they're on the purple, um, it will uh, be white. And when you've got it on the white, it'd be the uh, orange. Um, just because I think the white would sit better with the, the, the purple. Um, so, yeah, look forward to uh, the second episode for the, for the lights. Um, like I say, any questions, any comments, put them in the comments section. If not, I will leave my email address in the details section just drop me an email and i'll get back to you as quick as i can um and yeah hopefully um you enjoyed that video and i'll um i'll see you in the next one